F A I D H. Give the do it and you're laughing. That thing just sugar. Big iron that you need to keep up with them. The thing just sugar and everybody. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to the second episode of this show. Uh, it's actually how we met with the Smith. And uh, if you have not watched the first episode, it's actually very short and interesting and fun. I'm actually chilling with my choir master, and I'm getting to know how they met, hearing to hear stories for the first time. Different from the first one, actually, you've actually watched on my channel. So if you have not watched the first episode, very short, go back to the first video. So you have a clue of what we are doing on this show. Uh, today's uh, video it's just we just have three questions to ask them before the next episode and um, once again you're welcome sir you're welcome ma. so uh, let's dive deep uh, into the second episode with this question so during the courts during the course of your courtship after she said yes and after you've prayed uh, were, were, were there was there a particular point when you felt like backing out was there anything that happened along the line where you felt like I don't think this is it, I don't think he's the one, or I don't think she's the one? Was there at any point? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he looks at that. <laughs> so ma, okay, sir, look, I think I should start with him this time. So sir, was there at any point? Marriage is an institution instituted by God. You cannot once mm. you have said yes, yes I do. do. It's for life. Okay, okay. I don't, so, I don't mean sorry. Not, no, I get you. Okay. It's not, it's not, it's not possible for you to <clears throat> back out. It's just like saying you get to learn lessons from there and improve. There is no point at which you can say you cannot make mistakes, mm. or you cannot offend, or you cannot upset, or you cannot step on toes. Mm. But you need to learn. Okay, this particular thing that I did got mm -hmm. her angry, angry, offended her. It's something I'm, I was not supposed to do. Okay, I have learned. Maybe next time I'm not. So all those parts at that point where you get to meet some of those thorns, those hurdles, and all those things, you get to learn to take them out, out. pick them out, pick them out, pick them out. So till date we are still learning. Learning, although. The beautiful times have superseded the Tony, the Tony and the ugly parts. Yeah. For me, no, I don't think I had such kind of thing. Mm. So during the course of a courtship, there was no any thing that make. No. How about you, man? No. <clears throat> I like that. No. Okay, that that's actually a beautiful one. So, I think the next question is, um, what was that one thing? You actually sacrificed for this whole relationship to work for this whole marriage to work with their friends with their habits with their things you need to put aside just to make sure that you guys end up together or just to make sure that you guys lived happily with the things you had to put aside sir so many things. Wow. So let us, just let us know i would say so many things is she was not this social type, type. she was more of an introvert. Okay. An indoor she kind likes, of person. She loves her space. Mm. And when I get to go to meet her, I discovered I was like almost the opposite. I was a socialite. Like friends, both male and female. I love hanging out. I love being social, like mm. being friendly getting connected and talking and all those things so at that point where i got to meet her i got to learn to like cut off some, some of activities those, yeah, some of those feathers and all that because definitely you have to, there must be a point of compromise where yeah. you have to come together and agree on particular like, things yeah. mm. now how about you <laughs> said, i said i don't really have friends like yeah that. you said it so Having friends was like for me. I was like, it's kind of. Can't you just reduce some of your friends and let everything be? You could know that I was kicking against you having friends and the rest. Me, I'm this kind of. True, but you're at least want, you're at least alone. You want to be not, alone. Not really alone, okay. but I don't really like noise. Crowd, like that. Yeah. That was just 
in summary, if you want to be my friend, you must be her friend. So did you hear that? If you want to be his friend, you must pass through the wife. And once the wife gives you a, a check, like you're free then, you're obviously his friend. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right. I think this, this last question for this episode um, is about marriage committee. I know before now, most of young, young folks like us that are actually coming up, we've always had stories about marriage committee. They are the most difficult part of people. They are like this. You have, your skirt has to be like this. As a brother, you, if you are in a court, you're in a relationship, you must not do this, you must not do that. There are so many, not really facts, they are actually things that are not true. So along the line, when you guys were in the marriage committee, did you encounter any difficult any difficulties with the marriage committee especially you got married in abuja region right yeah. did you have any issues with marriage committee in abuja region in fct when you're talking about marriage committee in fact personally i would say deeper life marriage committee they are the best bam <laughs> here it's some other persons might <laughs> want to see the other way around because if you hear stories of what is happening in other ministries mm-hmm. You will come back and appreciate the marriage committee mm. because they are giving us the guide on how to go about it. Mm. There are some things that are not even according to the will of God. That maybe it came from the village and all those things. The marriage committee will help you yeah. shove some of those That's things out or convert them to some other thing. Mm. So I don't think I had personally in this relationship <laughs> that I am still enjoying. Mm. I had no issues. With marriage committee. Mm. I enjoyed every minute I spent with, with the marriage committee, especially all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 guys, so this is like like an eye opener. So, if you have been having those mindset about marriage committee, this one marriage committee that are like this, I think you should just put those those ancient mindset behind and just embrace them. They are actually nice people, and I I think if you go there and do the right thing. Doing the right thing, I think that's that's the main thing. Yeah, and Doing, being obedient. And being obedient. Once they said do this, don't argue with them. Just follow them up like that. Like, mm. no, like as if you are w- working with your parents. Yeah. Okay. So for, even if you, you know within you, it's not fine. But you just be like, God help me. Yeah. Then. On the normal note, the marriage committee member, they are all experienced. They are married. Nah, married my own grandparents. Wow. So their experience in this field, they did not just start the work like yesterday. Yesterday. They've, they've met with people, they've heard stories, they've seen things. So they are qualified, almost qualified to even guide mm. to guide us in the marriage process. Wow. So um guys, you've heard it all about marriage committee. They are actually nice people. They are very experienced in this line. So um I just feel when it gets to our tongue, we meet two set of good people also. It may not be. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for joining us on this episode. Uh, this is the second episode. And uh, watch out for the next episode that is going to be dropping out, dropping on this channel very soon with the Smith. And uh, it's going to be a couple tag with them. I'm going to be asking, they're going to be asking themselves questions. And uh, remember to subscribe. On your way out if you have not subscribed remember to drop a, a like uh and remember to drop a comment in the comment section and let's keep the conversation going so thank you very much for coming this far with me on this episode i'll see you also in the next episode peace thank you